Hi everybody, uh, Gary Porter again. I made up a couple of couple of pole transformers here. One's uh, 400 turns on the outer coil, 22 gauge. The other one's 20, uh, 24 gauge. I've got I'm using dry wick here for the uh, connections to the copper that's inside here. And what I used is uh, this is the length of the pieces, about two inches wide, and you can see this uh, bends around a little bit. That's my copper plate, and uh, I have a funny feeling that the copper plate or aluminum plate that's inside the pole transformer should weigh about the same as the secondary. So the primary and secondary should probably have this about the same weight, and uh, I'm not sure about that, but that's a possibility from Tesla. Uh, these are going to be supported and placed in these uh, plexiglass tubes here. And then uh, some some oil, mineral oil, will be placed inside this, and high voltage connection ground, and the secondary. So I'm going to use uh, Gerard's uh, cold electricity output from his uh, wash machine motor to drive uh, the 120 input to a uh, neon transformer. A neon transformer, 9,000 volt, 30 milliamp, will drive the high voltage section and uh, the output I don't know what's going to be there and I don't know what it's going to drive but it's going to be interesting so we'll keep you posted have a good day oh yeah I used uh, used my oil my old oil winding machine I'll try to give you a picture of that it has a counter over in the back and uh, a little hand crank and coil of wire and then a looks like a drill chuck in the back for uh, supporting the shaft to wind the coils Anyway, if you want to build one, build one. Easy to build. Counter and crank and all that's from China for about 90 bucks. Bye.